Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the October 2022 International A Level in Excel Mechanics M1 paper. This question is about some people in a lift. Two children, Alan and Bavana, are standing on the horizontal floor of a lift as shown in figure three. The lift has a mass of 250 kilograms. The lift is raised vertically upwards with constant acceleration by a vertical cable which is attached to the top of the lift. The cable is modeled as being light and inextensible. While the lift is accelerating upwards, the tension in the cable is 3,616 newtons. As the lift accelerates upwards, the floor of the lift exerts a force of magnitude 565 newtons on Allen and a force of magnitude 226 newtons on Bavana. Air resistance is modeled as being negligible and Allen and Bavana are modeled as particles. By considering the forces acting on the lift only, find the acceleration of the lift. Okay, so now let's draw the forces down on the diagram that I've made down here. So basically you have um, the mass of the lift, lift is 250 um, kilograms, which means its weight is 250 times G, G being 9.8. So I'll write that as 250 G acting straight down. That's the mass or the weight of the lift. Okay, that's the weight of the lift. Okay, so 250 G Newtons is the weight of the lift. Um, and then it says the wrist, the lift, sorry, is raised vertically, and it says it's accelerating upwards. The tension in the cable is 3616. So the, the, the tension in the cable, okay, the tension in the cable is 3616 Newtons. So this is 3,616 newtons, and this thing is accelerating in the upwards direction. Okay, it's accelerating upwards. All right. Now, it says, as the lift accelerates upwards, the floor of the lift exerts a force of magnitude 565 newtons on Allen and a force of magnitude 226 newtons on Bavana. Now, that is the reaction force of the lift on these two children. Okay, now what we have to do in part A is we have to consider the forces acting on the lift. The forces acting on the lift. And what we've drawn so far are the forces acting on the lift. We've got the force, the tension that's pulling the lift up, and the weight of the lift. Now, when I'm considering the forces acting on the lift only, I don't consider the weight of the, the people or the things inside the lift. I consider the weight of the lift alone. But what I consider about the things inside the lift is the reaction force between those things and the lift. Now, there's a reaction force that the lift gives to the people in the lift. And there's an equal and opposite reaction force of the people in the lift given, giving to the lift itself. And that's what we have to consider. We have to consider the reaction force, okay, that is given to the lift by these people that are standing in it. And those are the forces that are acting downwards in this direction. Those are the, re the reaction forces here. 565 newtons. 565 newtons. And 226 newtons. 226 newtons. Those are the reaction forces acting on the lift from the people in the lift. Okay, what they've described here is the force exerted on the people on the lift by the lift. We want to find the opposite, the one, the, the forces acting on the lift by the people in the lift, which are equal and opposite, equal and opposite to these forces. So they're acting, going to act downwards. So that's very important. I'm not, these are not the weights of these people. No, these are the reaction forces between those people and the ground or the floor of the lift. 
the reaction force that is given to the lift by those people standing in the lift. All right? So that's what we have to understand here. That's where we're considering just the forces acting on the lift only. All right? We can answer such questions if we know some more information in other ways as well. If we had to, we could take the forces acting in the whole system, in which case I would take the tension in the cable and I would take the weight of the people in the lift and the lift together as one object. But in this case, we don't know the weight of the people in the lift, so we can't use that method, right? So we have to use this method uh, where we take consider the forces acting on the lift only. We know the reaction forces of the objects in the lift on the lift. We know the weight of the lift, so we can do this in this way. So we know that the resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, we know that, and the resultant force, if we we know we're accelerating upwards, so we can say that the upward forces, which is three thousand six hundred and sixteen. Newtons minus the downward forces, which is all of these forces together. We can say 556 plus 220, 565, sorry, plus 226 plus 250 times G, which is 9.8. Okay, and that's equal to the mass of the lift, which is 250 times A. That's equal to 250 times A. So all of that will be resultant force. So the main force minus these forces together, all right, equals 250A. So we can find what A is. So let's work out what we have so far. So we have 3616 minus, we have 565 plus 226, oops, too many twos there, 226 plus 250 times 9.8, okay, and that gives us 375, so we can say A is equal to, we can say 250A is equal to 375, therefore A is equal to 375 divided by 250, so the acceleration is going to be given by this divided by 250, which is 3 over 2, which is 1.5 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration of the lift. Okay, so we considered what they told us to consider, which is just the forces acting on the lift only, and we had to find the acceleration of the lift. Now, for part B, okay, we know the acceleration of the lift upwards is um, 1.5 meters per second squared. We know that the reaction force, okay, um, of Allen on the floor of the lift is 565 newtons, and the reaction force of the force of of um, the lift on Allen is 565 newtons, equal and opposite. Now we want to find the mass of Allen. I want to find the mass of Allen, okay? Now, what we can do here is we can con consider we can consider just the forces acting on him alone, forces on Allen alone, just on him alone, right? So he's standing in the lift, on the floor of the lift, okay? And he is this person over here. Let me just do this so that I can... Just take Alan and paste him over here. A bit big there, make him a bit smaller. All right, so there we have Alan standing on the floor of the lift. Okay, so what do we have? The forces acting only on Alan. Alan are his weight. Okay, which is part of what we have to find. Mg. We want to find what m is. So that's mg newtons acting downwards. And the other thing we know is the other force acting on him is the reaction force of the floor of the lift on Allen, which was 565 newtons. Just to make sure in case I wrote that wrong. Okay, 565 newtons. Um, the lift exerts a force of that on Allen. That's right. All right, so that's the reaction force between the floor 
of the lift and Alan. So I know that he's accelerating, as we said, at 1.5 meters per second squared. So we can consider the resultant force on Alan. Okay, the resultant force on Alan is given by, um, if we take upwards as positive, as, it's, as they're moving upwards, so we say take upwards as positive, we can say that 565 minus mg is equal to his mass, which is m, times the acceleration, which is 1.5. So what we can say here, this is 565 minus 9.8 times m equals 1.5 times m. So let's make m the subject. So we have 1.5m plus 9.8m equals 565. So that's going to be 11.3m equals 565. So m is equal to 565 divided by 11.3. Okay, just make sure that we did that right. 9.8 plus 1.5. That gives us yeah 11.3 so 565 divided by 11.3 gives us 50 so m is equal to 50 kilograms okay find the mass of allen m is equal to 50 kilograms that's the mass of allen all right and that there we have answered this question which is question number four from the M1 paper of October 2022, International A-Level. Other questions from this paper are to be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. Other questions from M1 in general in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.